a kind of magic. I wonder how they do their stuff, wondered Chikyo as he lay on his bed reading his book of magic. Chikyo turned page after page and looked on in amazement at all the magic tricks that were on display. Surely they are all tricks. Magic isn't real, or is it? thought Chikyo as he threw his book onto his bed and stared at his bedroom mirror. I can't hang about here too long or I will be late for school once again. Just then, there was a knock on the front door. Chikyo Chimp rushed down the stairs and grabbed a cereal bar from the kitchen cupboard before rushing out to meet his friends. Elzina Elephant, Himaku Hippo and Zebgan Zebra. There you are, said Elzina impatiently as she stared at Chikyo from behind her glasses. Busy reading your magic books, she asked. Oh, need to be quick. It's double PE first thing this morning remarked Himaku. We will only make it on time if we jog a little of the way, replied Zedgan. If only we had a magic carpet, we will get there in no time, laughed Chikyo. I love this class. Play everything. PE is my favourite subject, said Chikyo as he climbed the high ropes. It means physical education, silly, replied Elzina as she shook her head and made her way to the floor mats. I love PE too, said Zepgarn as he jogged on the spot. But I prefer to be outdoors on the track. I just love to run, he added. Oh, I'm not a big fan of PE, replied Himaku. I prefer art. It's so soothing and peaceful. The PE teacher blew her whistle and made everyone jump with fright. Today we are going to do circuit training, she said. There are going to be four stations, and on each station there will be a different exercise. The duration will be one minute per exercise, and then you move on to the next station. The four friends looked at each other and made their way to the stations. The teacher blew her whistle to indicate the start of the circuit training. On station one, Chikyo began to do push-ups. Station two was mountain climbs. A difficult exercise for many, but one that was especially difficult for Elzina. Station 3 was jogging on the spot, which Zepgarn loved. And finally, on Station 4, Himaku struggled with star jumps. After several minutes, the teacher blew her whistle again. Five more minutes, she shouted with a grin as she watched the class huffing and puffing in exhaustion. I wish I could make her disappear puffed Chikyo as he whispered to Elzina. I think we should all start going to the gym after school. Our fitness levels are very poor, puffed a very tired Elzina, her glasses resting on the tip of her nose. I agree, replied Zebgan. Oh, do we have to, replied Himaku as he lay on his back with his eyes closed. Chikyo placed his water bottle into his bag and added a jar of honey as a refreshing treat for after his workout. He swung from tree to tree as he headed to the gym to join his friends. As he approached the gym, he accidentally knocked into a beehive and disturbed all the bees inside. The angry bees chased Chikyo and he was only saved by the revolving door at the gym that separated him from the insects. Ooh. That was close, said Chikyo, as he looked over his shoulder at the yellow and white swarm beyond the door. The gym was full. Everyone who was keen on being fit was there. There were so many weights of different shapes and sizes. There were many machines. The machines were designed for every muscle group. Uh, which exercise should we do first? asked Elzina, who looked confused at the vast range of equipment on display. I feel like lifting weights, replied Himaku as he flexed his muscles. I want to use the climbing wall. It makes me feel at home, laughed Chikyo as he stared to the top of the wall. Let's all start with the treadmills, replied Zebgan. Once we are warmed up, we can then proceed to the other equipment, he added as he stretched his legs. They all made their ways to the treadmills and began to run. Zebgan was the best runner and was running with ease. 
Cheekier was comfortable when he ran, but preferred to climb. Elzina and Himaku, the largest of the four friends, struggled but kept on running. They may have been large, but they were also very strong. Once the four had finished running, they made their way to the cross trainer. Thereafter, they rode the stationary bike, followed by the rowing machine. That was great, said Chikyo as he got up from the rowing machine. Let's all finish with some weight training, he added as he wiped his forehead with the back of his hand. They all marched towards the weights area. Oh, let's start with the bench press. I love to lift weights, said Himaku. That's fine, I will go first replied Chikyo. After every exercise, add a little more weight. I want to see if I can break my record, laughed Chikyo as he stared into the mirror and admired his physique. Chikyo began to lift the weight. One, two, three, he said. Eight, nine, ten, he finished. Add more weight. I feel strong, said Chikyo as he concentrated on the task ahead. Himaku added some more weight and they all gathered closely and watched. Chikyo closed his eyes and continued. One, two, three, counted Chikyo, his eyes closed in deep concentration. Eight, nine and ten, screamed Chikyo as the weights crashed down. Add some more weight, shouted Chikyo. Clink, clink. The sound of metal on metal as the weights were added. Chikyo pushed with all his strength and his eyes remained shut in deep concentration. But the weights would not budge. He took a deep breath and pushed again. Still, the weights rested. What's going on? demanded Chikyo as he gasped for breath. What's the matter? This gym is not for wimps like you. Chikyo opened his eyes and quickly realized that his three friends were not there. Instead, facing him was a very large beast. It was Lizarov Lion. Lizarov circled the machine where Chikyo lay. Chikyo was frozen to the bench and dared not move. In the corner of his eye, he could see Elzina, Himaku and Zedgan hiding behind the vending machine. How dare you come into my gym, you feeble little monkey, roared Lizarov. I only came to get fit, your highness. I did not know this was your gym, replied Chikyo as he slowly got up from the bench. Everything is mine. I am king of the jungle and I own everything that is in it, snapped Lizarov as he pointed out of the window. I am going to teach you a lesson you will never forget. I haven't forgotten the way you humiliated me once before, when you painted me pink, roared Lizarov, as he looked at himself admirably in the mirror. Chikyo looked at his friends, cowering, and chuckled quietly. Please don't hurt me, your highness. I have a gift for you that will make you stronger, said Chikyo as he reached into his bag. What can you give me that I have not got already? roared Lizarov. Carefully, Chikyo removed the label from the honey jar and showed it to Lizarov. What is this? asked Lizarov as he examined the jar. Uh, let me show you, replied Chikyo nervously as his friends looked on. Can you? Lift me up, asked Chikyo. Of course I can, replied Lizarov in astonishment. Lizarov lifted Chikyo without any effort. There, satisfied, boasted Lizarov. Chikyo tried to open the jar, but was unable to do so as it was tightly shut. Can you open the jar, please? asked Chikyo, looking ashamed. Piece of cake replied Lizarov as he opened the jar without any effort. Chikyo rubbed some of the contents onto his hands and then asked Lizarov to lift him again. To Lizarov's amazement, he was unable to lift Chikyo. 
Lizarov tried and tried, but he could not lift Chikyo even by an inch. The three friends emerged from their hiding place and watched the event unfolding. Give that to me, said Lizarov as he reached for the jar and began to cover himself in the sticky honey. This is going to make me stronger, he roared as he pushed by all the four friends and headed out towards the jungle. What was in the jar? asked Elzina as she watched Lizarov walk into the jungle outside. It was only honey, laughed Chikio. But what just happened? How did Lizarov not manage to lift you? asked Himaku as he scratched his head. Was it magic? asked Zebgarn, looking confused. When Lizarov lifted me the first time, it was my body weight he lifted, and I have my arms by my side. But when he lifted me the second time, after I put honey onto my hands, he was lifting me and himself as I was holding onto his arms as he lifted me, laughed Chikyo. It was a kind of magic, chuckled Chikyo as they all headed out of the gym. In the distance, they could see Lizarov running and screaming, chased by a swarm of angry bees. They all erupted into laughter. The end.